Hello and welcome back to the third year statistic course with QGIS on R. This course is about structural analysis for creating co creating interpolation. If you miss the introduction of this course that is posted at the GeoRGV YouTube channel, just click on the card located at the top right corner of your screen and you are going to have access directly to that video. This is just a summary of the first lesson of the course and the main topic for today is random function and stationarity. We started the first lesson with an informal definition of a random function. At this point, it is important to indicate what is the main difference between random variables and random functions. When we are working with random variables, we are not taking in consideration any spatial location of our samples or measurements. Then when we are treating the data as a random variables, we can use the classical statistics. And that's what we did in the first and second geostatistic course. Then the tools that we was using to characterize our data, it was histograms, QQ plots, box plots, and etc. But we didn't use the exactly location of our measurements or samples. We didn't take in consideration the coordinates, the location, the position of our measurements or samples. And that's the main difference, because when we are talking about random functions, we are taking in consideration the location, the coordinates, the position of our measurements or samples. Also, in this first lesson, we are going to see the first and second moments associated with the random functions, as we did with the random variables. Later, we are going to see the definition of stationarity. Stationarity is something really important when we are working with Kriegin interpolation. We said a lot of times during the first and second course that we need our data to be stationary, but we never explain what it means exactly. In this first lesson, we are going to see one of the most popular ways of classifying the stationarity of the data. We are going to be focused on stationarity of second order and intrinsic hypothesis. In addition, we are going to see some of the tools that we can use to know if our data is stationary or not. But we already use some of these tools at the first and second geostatistic course. But in this third course, we are going to extend uh, that knowledge a little bit more. This is an, a small example used in this first lesson to explain how we can recognize the no stationarity of our data when we are working with the omnidirectional semivariogram cloud. I have to mention that this first lesson is going to be totally theoretical and the concepts sometimes are going to be a little bit abstract and difficult to understand. But this is going to be the only lesson that is going to be theoretical. The other ones are going to be all of them uh, practical and all the concepts are going to be well uh, understood with that lessons. Remember that the videos I'm posted related with this course at the GeoRGV YouTube channel, they are just summary of the lessons of this course. If you want to have full access to the course, just go to the GeoRGV community website at gscourse.online, then go to courses, select the third geostatistic course, Structural Analysis for Kriegen co Kriegen, then read the information related with the course. And if you are interested in this course, just uh, get enrolled, then you can start the course at the moment, we added four lessons. We have the lesson zero, that is the introduction, the lesson one, that is the random functions and stationarity. And this is the summary of this video. 
Also, we have low added the lesson two, that is the omnidirectional semivariate grand cloud. For each lesson, you are going to have a document that you can low add it with the scripts that we are using in the lessons. And also the last lesson I low added is the directional semivariate grand cloud. Also in this lesson, you can have here the script where you can download the, the scripts that we are using on QGIS. Also, when you are enrolled in a course, you are going to have access to the questions and answers. Then if you have any question related with the, the lessons of this course, you can put here the question title and your question here and submit the question and I'm going to provide you an answer. This is a personalized service that is included with the price of the course. To finalize also, I would like to mention that we have a forum for each of the courses that we have at the GeoRGB community. Just go to the groups and then here select the group you want to join. In this case, it's going to be the third geostatistic course. Then click and join the group. OK, and these forums could be pretty interesting because anyone can be part. OK, you don't have to be enrolled in the course. It means that anyone is welcome to the forum, right? But the forum, it's about this topic. OK, we have a different groups, as you can see. And at the moment, the forum, it's not really popular because we don't have too, too much members. But the intention is as more people is getting enrolled in the courses, these forums are going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And it's going to be a point of encounter between the people, right? And then everyone can expose uh, their ideas or their questions and other people from the community also can help, right? To, to find a solutions or to propose new ideas and etc. Well, that's the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching and see you on the next one.